and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy bringing you guys my review of Sunset Fantasy, Britney Spears' 24th fragrance launch this year, 2018. So this is the 14th fantasy in the lineup, and this time, we, our box is reminiscent, but new, and I love this. So, the front, it says Sunset Fantasy Britney Spears, Eau de Toilette Spray, 3.3 ounce, 100 milliliters. You got that um, traditional fantasy triangle in the middle, but you got kind of like the sun bursting out of the behind. Um, and then the sunset pattern kind of carries over to the side. The top is just kind of a solid pink. And then the back, we have the ad of Britney. Yeah. So, let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that is this ad. So, last year, if you guys remember when I reviewed Fantasy in Bloom, and I showed you guys the ad was on the back of the box, I told you guys this was my favorite ad, and I actually got this sent to me, speaking of that ad, and it is the Fantasy in Bloom ad, which, yeah, that's going to be hard to get in the picture, but love this ad. But if you look at the outfit Britney's wearing, it looks oddly familiar. So, there's a thing. I've seen a lot of places where they've talked about how this ad um, on the back of the box and the whole promotional ad is Britney's face photoshopped onto another body. First off, let's not deny it that's photoshopped because it is photoshopped. Her face is odd looking. And if you look at the body, it is the same outfit that she wore in Fantasy and Bloom. They just made that uh, kind of unitard, whatever you want to call it. Um, a darker pink color, they removed the neck piece, but there's just something about this ad that looks off. Now one thing, I don't like this personally, there's just a lot of things with this ad that weren't, that could have been a little bit better. It's not terrible, it's not the worst ad we've seen. Um, I mean, it's not we're not recycling Femme Fatale or the same one that we used for Cosmic Gradient, so we are getting a new ad. I just... Photoshopping is bad, and it's been talked about. Um, it's been talked about with the fans, and it's been kind of everywhere. And when this ad actually like leaked back in November, the whole commercial actually leaked. Um, fans thought it was fake because it used um, the private show commercial, and then it faded into this ad. And people thought it was fake because she just looks so weird. And I don't know exactly what happened with the ad. It's not up to me. But, whatever. And then one person pointed out to me, and I saw this, and I giggled, and I don't remember who it was, but it looks like she peed the water a little bit. Like, it, right? Like, why? I don't understand why. I mean, there's, like, a sun back here behind her head, but that shouldn't reflect in front of her. I don't understand this. It's okay, I guess. Anyway. But, as you saw from the back of the box, the bottle, this time went back to the original fantasy bottle design versus in bloom which was that frosted no gem with a design on the front that maui had this time they went back to the ombre bottle with um the crystals like we did with um island fantasy and this is like that very similar glass design that island is in i really do like this bottle i feel like the bottle saves the entire fragrance we can act like an ad didn't happen ads or ads but when it comes down to it, we're here for the fragrance. And I love this bottle. I love the gradient. And it's not picking up the best on camera. I don't know if putting it in front of something is going to help. But it is a really pretty ombre color. Now, my promo picture I shot for this, I was going to go do, uh, like, a shoot this at sunset. But trying to get a sunset in Iowa in the middle of winter that looks like it's on a beach, one, is super hard. And two, Iowa is super hilly, so, like, I literally had like five minutes to find the sunset and take a picture of it. Did not find it, but I kind of did like a light painting with this. And that was kind of fun. I liked it. Still works. But like I said, we're here for the fragrance. So this one is a little bit different from all the other fantasies, but still kind of in the same wheelhouse. So it opens with ruby grapefruit, Italian mandarin, and pink apple. The middle notes are juicy peach, orange blossom, and raspberry leaves with base notes of Australian sandalwood, vanilla, steamed froth milk accord, and gilded amber. So, with this, like I said, very different from all the other fantasies, but it is, it still fits in, like, the fantasy family, but it's still very, very different from, like, island fantasy or Maui fantasy. It's still tropical, but it's not like those. This one is very, very different. So when you first spray it, 
you get some of those fruity notes. Like, the grapefruit's kind of there, the mandarin's kind of there, the apple's kind of there. But it kind of gives it just like a fruity opening. It is on the more citrusy side, but I don't feel like one of those three fruits is a really, really big standout. The grapefruit gives it that citrus edge. So I guess you could say that the grapefruit's kind of like that punch in the beginning. But it is very fruity opening and it's very soft and very warm. As it starts to dry down, you get the orange blossom and you get the... Blanked on what we we're talking about, sorry. Uh, you get the peach a little bit. And it, the peach kind of, like I said, adds to that milk or the kind of fruity opening. But what the real standout note of this entire fragrance is that steamed froth milk accord. And it really kind of takes over the whole fragrance and almost makes you forget that there's some other notes in there, kind of like I just did. Um, but you can still smell the other notes, if that makes sense. And it's not super milky, like you're, it doesn't smell like you're smelling like a milk. Does it smelling like you're smelling? I don't know. Anyway. Um, but it's a very pretty opening. It's very soft. It's very girly. It's very feminine. It's very pretty. But it kind of just gives it a very fruity opening with a slight floral backing with the orange blossom in there. When it starts to dry down more, though, you really do get that steam frost milk accord. And you can, you'll, when you smell this fragrance, you'll really, really smell. It's kind of a frothy, milky, creamy opening. But you can tell that it's warm, and the amber there also makes it a really warm opening to this fragrance. And the whole fragrance is very warm and tropical. And it's kind of nice because you don't really see a whole lot of summer fragrances that are done on the warm side. And I like that because sometimes you don't want a crisp, refreshing summer scent. You do want something that's a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more warm, a little bit more cozy. And that's exactly what this is. It is very summery. But it's a different interpretation of summer than you normally see in the fragrance lineup. The fragrance doesn't really develop a whole lot. You get that fruity opening with kind of that grapefruit kind of edging its way through the fruits. But it's really the kind of that vanilla, the steam frost milk accord, and the amber that you're smelling throughout the whole fragrance. The sandalwood does give it kind of a woody edge. And if I were to say that, like, kind of the best way to describe this fragrance, it is a milky, woody, fruity scent that's warm on the backside, if that makes sense. And I really, really like this one. Um, it almost has this clean aspect to it with those florals, but it all works really, really well together. And is very, very different from anything Britney's previously done, or kind of a lot that's out on the market. It does have some similarities to like Melanie Martinez's with that like fruity opening and the milk in there, but this isn't like hers. That one's a little bit more floral, a little, definitely heavier on the milk. This one's balanced out with the fruits, and the fruits make it so s fresh and refreshing that the milk is balanced out, and it's not super, super milky. Um, as it starts to dry down, you're really going to notice kind of the amber in the sandalwood coming out a little bit more, but that milk, the froth milk accord kind of is uh, the standout note throughout the entire fragrance. Lasting power... I sprayed this yesterday on my wrist, roughly, I'd say, about 4 o'clock, and about midnight, 6 hours later, I, well, no, sorry, 12 hours later, I can't do math. Anyway, regardless, about midnight, I could still smell it on my skin, but it was kind of that warm, ambery, uh, Santa Woody dry down with the milk kind of still there, and still some of those fruits, the fragrance really kind of holds its own throughout the whole fragrance and kind of it like I said it doesn't change a whole lot but what it does do is kind of develop into next level so you the fruits will kind of dry down and still stay there in the background and kind of lingering and bring the milk and wo the wood kind of more front like frontward but still giving you those fruits in the back so it doesn't dry down to like a milky woody end um the thing I really like about this fragrance is it was refreshing to smell something different that isn't done a whole lot. I mean, you could find similarities to this, but it's nice that Brittany and her team went and did something very different, but still kind of in the fantasy lineup and something that could fit in there. This one is definitely more of like a, I feel like this is more of a hot summer day fragrance because it is an eau de toilette, so it does keep its lightness and keeping it summery. 
but it does last a really long time for it being a summery fragrance. With that being said, I definitely feel like this is a fragrance that you could wear from like the end of winter where it's still kind of cold and wear it as it's starting to warm up and kind of see how it adjusts. The hotter this fragrance gets, I feel like you're definitely going to smell more of those citrusy notes um, in a little bit more warmer climates as you get more closer to the equator. I definitely feel like those fruitier notes and like the heat are going to bring out more. Um, but the definite, that froth milk accord is kind of like that standout note. Um, so if you're, if you're kind of on the edge about it, I would go get it because in my opinion, it's still safe. And that's what I've always loved about the Britney fragrances is they always are unique and they always kind of push the envelope, but they always stay safe enough that the fans aren't going to be like, Oh, what is that? I don't want to smell that. That's terrible. Ugh. Like this one is pretty and a little bit more grown up. It's not as sweet and sticky and candy like as some of her previous ones. This one's definitely a little bit more grown up, a little bit more pretty, a little bit more womanly than girly, if that makes sense. Um, but Lasting Power, like I said, it does last quite a while, especially for being an Eau de Toilette. And I can't wait to see how this fragrance develops as it gets warmer and see what we can do with humidity and you know those type of things that really do affect fragrances now this one that being said i do feel like with kind of that froth milk accord the amber and the vanilla and the sandalwood i definitely feel like the way that the base in this fragrance is corrected and how it kind of um is very prominent throughout the entire fragrance this one along with believe would definitely be kind of a more male fragrance but the you know, like, more male for Britney's fans. It's still a very feminine, very girly fragrance, but I definitely feel like it could be unisex or pulled off by them, just because it is a little bit different. It's not as candy sweet. It's not as, like, bubblegum pop as some for other fragrances are. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Britney Spears' Sunset Fantasy. Sorry about all the rambling. There was a kind of, This fragrance is very, very different and very unique in the way that it's cre created. So I definitely feel like the rambling was needed. So there you guys go. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. Also, go ahead and if you want to, and website, there's some cool uh, kind of different edges of my personality with my fragrances there. Um, be on the lookout. Like I said, I do plan on doing my perfume collection video here relatively soon. I'm not quite sure exactly when it'll be up, but it'll be coming soon. Um... The Fragrance Knockout series will be starting in February. Lots of fun stuff coming. I just haven't decided the collection video exactly when it's going to come out. I kind of want to do something special for you guys, but we'll see what I come up with. So, there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.